I think this is going to work. This is the Southwest Archery Spider Longbow. I've got a new string on it with little string silencers. I've got two knock points tied on. I'm shooting 600 spined gold tip arrows. Now, I don't know if the lights are gonna keep coming on. They're gonna cut off every 20 seconds, I think. I'm gonna shoot three under. I think everything is going. Shot to the left. I don't know how long these lights are gonna last. Whoa, shot way to the left. I think that was better. If I kent the bow, I'd do better. So kent the bow. I'm gonna run down and get those. So I'm gonna shoot the same arrows. See if these lights keep there's one light up here, it comes on, and then it cuts off. Okay, so they're basically on the same level. <clears throat> Have no idea how the lighting's gonna look. And see that light just cut off. There's a light here. It comes on when I walk by it, but it'll stay on 20 seconds, then it'll cut off again. So let's try this again. Now, I do have a problem seeing at night. I have a little bit of night vision blindness. I think that was below the tennis ball. Oh, that went under it, completely under it. That means it dropped way low. Oh dear, went under it. That means it's stuck in the target in the back of it. Made a hole in my rain covering. Guess that was four. Run and get them. Oh, I hate that one ball. Below the black bag target. No, actually it's stuck here. Wonder what it's stuck in. Well, whatever it was, the point's gone. Probably can't see it. can't see it either so that puts me down three three arrows oh yuck so I've ruined another arrow I'm gonna switch over and shoot what are these six hundred so maybe I'll shoot the I think these are fives. No, they're four. Four. I don't know. Let's try the fours. I have no idea. I'm lost now. Fours. 400 spine. Let's see where it goes. Looks like I gotta either get out some different arrows or I gotta work on some arrows. Well, that motion light staying on, I guess, because I'm moving. Whoa, I think I missed the whole target. 
so these 400s I'm not doing well with. I think I'm not doing well with them. I can't see them. Run down and get them. See what I broke. Broke, broke. One, two, three, four. And one. Woo! <clears throat> no, I didn't lose the point anyway. Well, these aren't bad. These are pretty much grouped there in the center of the target, more or less. I'll try those one more time. And assume that I'm still recording. And there's a motion light came on. I'm running all these lights out here with the rock pal. I don't know how long they'll last. I can't see where they're hitting. RW, good ship, dropsy. This knock is too loose. I need to fix this one when I go in. Where I get myself hurt. See what that did. Okay, so I've got the one arrow. I always, I keep, for some reason, I'm having an arrow fly to the left. I don't know if it's the arrow or if it's me. Okay, Ron's archery. So let's see what I can say to that. So I strung up my. Southwest Archery Scorpion Longbow, 6 to 8 inch. I put a new string on it, 68 AMO string, and I twisted it till I got the brace height at right at 8. I think that's where it should be. And I've shot several arrows. I shot some 600s, 500s, and 400s. <sighs> the ones I just finished up with were 500s, and except for having one arrow go to the left, I don't think it's the same arrow. Uh, they were pretty much hitting pretty much the center. I did get put two in the two inch Dixie cup from 20 yards. So that's pretty good. I'm running the lights out here with the rock pal and it's all these larger bulbs plus all the Christmas lights all the way down to the contrary, back up the side of the battery shed with the uh, I think those are Halloween lights. I didn't turn on this lamp tonight. I used a, um, a rechargeable bright light that's on me right now. And that seemed to work fine for the target that I'm shooting at. When I'm down there, it's so dark I can't see the, putting the string on the knock, between the knocks, knocking points. So I need to use one of the smaller lights maybe as a backlight down there uh, or on the front I don't know I'll try that another than that what I get done today I went to Lubbock I went to Academy Sports to buy Mr. Buddy heater which they said they had in stock I got there they couldn't find it so I didn't get it so from there I went over to uh, Northern Tools tried to get one there so, oh yes sir we have those no they didn't have it well, we're going to get them in. When are they coming in? Well, we don't know. 
Right, they may be on container ships sitting out in the middle of the bay somewhere. <sighs> Forget that. But I did buy a small electric uh, heater there the other day, and we tried it in the living room, and it will work using electricity. It'll put out a fair amount of heat. And we did get two zero temperature sleeping bags that we can use if we need to. Okay, I left there and I went to Lowe's. Uh-oh. Lowe's. Oh dear, I've got a bucket sitting in the back of the truck with two more bags of that post hole fence stuff. I forgot that's in there. Yeah, it's probably okay out there tonight. It's not gonna get cold or anything. When I reached up in the box to get the bags, three different times I grabbed bags that had that goop all over it. I was able to wipe my hands off on the shelf and do like this, and I didn't get any foam on me, so it was apparently just probably the thinner uh, liquid had leaked out in one of the bags and when I got up the front uh, the girl gave me cloth to clean my hands with. If it had been both foams my hands would be covered with foam tonight. Uh, and then I left there and I went over to, uh, I was going to go to Home Depot Yeah, but on the way I thought you know I need a set of car ramps. Remember the metal car ramps that you drive your car up on so you can change the oil? It dawned on me, I can get those over at uh, Harbor Freight. So I shoot right on down to Harbor Freight. It's on closer to that side of town now because uh, they've got two stores. It's in the old Hastings bookstore location. I walked in there and milled around. I found some connectors to use on my in my solar shed out there. And I picked up, it's a 10 gauge, either 50 foot or 100 foot. I think I think it's it's at least 50 foot. It may be a hundred foot. I bet it's 50 foot though. Uh, that was 75 dollars. But I figured go ahead and get it now because I'm going to need need an extra one. Um, so I left there and I went by Home Depot and checked to see if they had the Mr. Heaters. Yeah, no, they didn't have anything like that in there. Beat feet back home. Uh, stopped in and bought my daughter a, a pretty red rose in a vase because today is the day that six years ago my wife her mother passed away from Alzheimer's and this is the first year that we've gotten through it without totally breaking down I'm real proud of us however last night we set up oh, I don't know it took two or three hours to do a video for Shelby uh, I may try to link it on here tonight uh, for the end Alzheimer's walk. So she is going to walk and people will support her by donating money. And that took about two hours because she couldn't get it to work right in Zoom. And I thought, well, I'm getting Camtasia. So I put on the, she had 25 slides from a PowerPoint. I had to put them on one at a time, get them in order. Then I had to go through and put in her vocal track. Oh Lord, it of course not synced up. So I had to go through between every slide and clip out the section. And then I had to add some piano, some different music tracks that she had. And I got all that in there. So it's, that was a done deal. And, of course, the first song that I put on there, the last song I put on there was Amazing Grace. And when I hear that, I just break down and start bawling. Did pretty good. Broke down a little bit, but we got through it. I'm proud of both of us. Uh, this is the night that she passed away with both of us sitting there with her. We were with her 24 hours a day. And that last night, I said, Shelby, knowing your mother... I suspect that she may possibly be waiting till we're not right there with her and then she'll go. So Shelby slipped off around the corner of the hospital bed and laid down on the couch that I'd been sleeping on for a month and I went back to my room laid down on the bed and within about an hour Shelby came in to tell me she had mother had passed. And we stayed with her, held her, took our pictures and held her until the hospice people came out, 
pronounced her dead. And then the funeral home people came and picked her up and put her in a bag and took her out the door. I told Shelby, come over here. I don't want you to see her going out the front door. So six years, we've gotten through it. I'm real proud of us. Somebody once told me that when people die, they do it to make it easier for you. If I'm to believe that, then Patty passed away so that Shelby and I would have an easier life. And I, we both think back to what if Patty was still alive six years later. We know what it would have been like and we're thankful that she chose to go the way she did. She died at home. We wouldn't let her go in the hospice setting. We wouldn't let her go into the hospital. And this is prior to COVID, so. <sighs> Patty. We love you. We miss you. Your ashes are still sitting under the TV or they're just 10 feet away from us at any time we're in the living room. We're glad we did it that way. We have your pictures and your favorite little stuffed animals sitting all around your ashes. Rest in peace. Ron's Archery. It's time to close out, go in and play, have fun editing. And I gotta see if I totally destroyed my uh, my $40 new <laughs> tripod. Wouldn't you know it, I hit right where the thing latches it down, so it's tending to slip. Now I can tape it, but that kind of defeats the purpose of being able to move it up and down. The one I'm tape, videotaping right now, I shot it last year, and it went through one leg and hit the other leg and broke off the center. So I have it totally taped and I can't change it at all. Can I? I might can put a little lower. Okay, so the lights worked out pretty good tonight. I'm pleased with that. And say, Ron Darcher, over and out. Go fling smarrows.